Next question for you then. You said you have 10,000 paying customers right now, right? Cumulative, yeah, correct. Yeah, Almost. okay, okay. So that's enough to keep getting bootstrapped. Have you thought about raising investment? What are your thoughts? Do you plan to raise more money or are you just happy with where it is? What's your thought on the funding? Oh, that is, that's something where I, I feel like in this environment, you have to attract funding. Like, like just like dating. I mean, I could say I'm dating, right? And I want to, <laughs> but like, you've got to attract that to you. And that just takes having your life together, your finances and, you know, exes and all that put together in a nice package and handled. I think that in order to raise capital, I think we're at a point that it's possible, but um, I enjoy the experience of getting out there and now pitching Timebolt as an investment, but particularly because all these investors and all the people that I'm pitching in the business are also potential customers. Oh, yeah. These are all, they're all like, I, I don't, I can't lose. Like I, if I just do a good pitch, I can get up and it, make it, you know, to some of these uh, further down rounds. And I inevitably end up selling more time bolt. And I believe that also these pitch competitions and things are going to help us as we continue to try and get traction inside our, the B2B market. So I think that funding would help if we were able to find quality advertising where this proverbial put $1 in and you get $5 back actually happened, right? But that means you've got to have all the right tracking analytics. It's talking between all the platforms. And then obviously it's like the creative, right? The, without the idea, without the great creative, you're not going to get somebody to stop stop their scroll. I believe that once we can kind of get to that point, I think that that will help accelerate our growth. If you can find you know, what that data flywheel looks like. And then also it's, you know, we've, we've, we're focused right now on a computer, like, you know, the editors have to have a computer in order to edit the video. This isn't like a TikTok sure. editor where you're adding whiz bang as you put, I love that, love that word. Yeah. Uh, not mobile, but, but funding, if you move from a desktop software to also a mobile app, which we believe there's big opportunities to do that Huge. with our particular technology. Yeah. If somebody came in and get, offered us the right terms and, and we were able to dictate the best terms, you know, uh, as, as far as founders go, I think that that would be something we would look at. And you're going to get the best terms when you have that traction. I love the approach because the best time to raise funding is when you don't need funding, but you could use funding to put gasoline on the fire and to spike your growth and your traction, maybe expand and get more market share. Well, right now, you're not facing any runway issues. It's not like you're gonna have to shut everything down next month, three months down the road. You've got very good velocity. Therefore, it's okay to poke out there and eventually once you start, maybe get some industry news, you start showing a lot more traction, you figure out things, like you said, a customer acquisition cost. Investors are going to be contacting you, absolutely. and. I also think, and we've talked about this before, that I think some of the bigger companies like Adobe, they're going to be contacting you. Canva might be contacting you and saying, hey, we already see that you've got all these customers in the marketplace. You build a great brand, got a great product. We can infuse it in and hit the ground running versus have to figure it out all on our own. I think you're in a really good spot. And I think that's something that all founders should consider. Like you said, attract the investors, make them come to you versus you going to them with your hand out, looking desperate. Power dynamic is all wonky. 